Hello friends, so today we are going to study the graph theory or called as a network topology which comes in network theory subject. Let us uh, take a circuit which consists of different elements. different elements are capacitance, resistance, resistance to, inductance and resistance 3. Now this circuit can be represented as this by assuming all the interconnecting point as a node. So this is node 1, this is node 2, this is node 3 and this is node 4. We can observe here that R1, L1 and R3 all are connected at the same point so this is the point 4. So there are uh, various terminology in this network graph. The first one is branch. So branch is any elements of the graph is called branch. Let's say R1. So R1 is a branch. R2 or L1 these are called branch and the terminal of these two branches are called nodes so the first thing will come as branch so all the elements are called as branch then nodes So the terminals of branches are called nodes. Now the third one is degree of nodes. So the degree of nodes is number of branches connected to a network. Let us say at this node, node number 4, there are 3 branches connected. So the degree of nodes is 3. If we take node 3, then there are again 3 branches connected. So degree of these nodes is 3. Similarly, if you have only 2 branches connected at a node, the degree of nodes is 2. So degree of nodes is number of branches connected to a single node. Then comes tree. It is interconnected open set of branches which includes all the nodes of the given graph. So let us take this graph and consider a combination like this. So we can see that in this combination all the nodes are covered all the four nodes are connected but there is no loop in the graph loop means uh, if the combination of branch makes a closed path then it is called a loop here none of the branches makes a closed path 
so these three combination of branches are called as tree so tree can be many combination for a particular given circuit let's say i have taken 1 2 4 and 3 2 so 1 2 3 4 all the nodes are covered so 1 2 4 and 2 2 4 and 3 2 4 is called as a tree combination similarly someone would have taken 1 2 3 2 2 and 1 2 so let us take that so another tree combination may be something like this where this is node 1 node 2 node 3 and node 4 in this case also we can see that all the nodes are connected to a branch and none of the combination makes a loop so this is also one of the combination of tree so there are many combination of tree is possible now next comes tree branch so as name says tree branch so for a given tree all the branch are called as a tree branch if i assume that this is branch number 1 branch number 2 branch number 3 then these three branches are called as a tree branch so all the branch of tree is called tree branch then tree link so the remaining branch of a tree branch in the graph is called as link so for example in this case these are the remaining branches so these three branches are called as tree link then as i have discussed the loop loop is the closed contour selected in a graph so for example if i take from 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 2 this will become a loop similarly if we take 1 to 2 2 to 4 and 4 to 1 that will also become a loop now the tree branch is also known as twig now we will see the relation between twigs and links so let us say n is equal to number of nodes in a graph so the number of twigs will be n minus 1 and if l represents the number of links in a graph then l 
equal to b minus n minus 1 which is equal to b minus n plus 1 where b is total number of branch in the graph for example if i consider the same graph 1 2 these are the nodes 2 3 4 so in this particular graph n which is number of nodes equal to 4 so the number of twigs number of twigs equal to 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 as we have seen for the tree formed using this graph for the same example by considering a different combination of tree branches there are three tree branches taken to form a tree in this case also three branches are considered to form a tree so the number of tree branches or number of twigs equal to 4 minus 1 equal to 3 now L which is number of links in a given graph so the remaining branches are called as links so there are total of six branches in the graph so three branches are twigs so remaining three branches will be links so l equal to three so now we can uh, get this relation which is l to find number of links l equal to total number of branch six minus number of nodes that is four plus one six minus four plus one is Three. So that 3 is number of links. Now let's take some examples and draw the nodes and branches of the network element. So here total number of nodes and this is 1 node number 1 node number 2. So we can write this as node 1, node 2 and this will be branch. Let us take two elements in series. So there will be three nodes, one, two, and three. So node one, node two, and node three. This is branch one, this is branch two. Let's take a parallel combination. Now there will be only two nodes in the parallel connection and we can convert that in this way node 1 and node 2 this is branch 1 and branch 2 In this example, we have 1, 2 and 3, 3 nodes, so we can make it like this, node 1, this is branch 1, node 2, node 3, branch 2 and then branch 3. So this is how we can convert any network 
into its graphical form after converting to gra graphical form we can assign the direction of current we can assume any direction of current and this type of graph in which the direction is assigned is called oriented graph oriented graph or it's also called directed graph so in these four uh, graphs we can see in all the elements uh, i have assigned the direction of current so this graph is called as oriented graph or directed graph thank you